welcome to the first lesson in making a Flappy Bird style game. Um, there's going to be two or three uh, lessons in this series. By the end of it, we'll, we'll add in a number of features. We'll add in a high score menu. We'll add in lives. We'll add in a few new features. But first of all, we need to start off with positioning our bird on the screen and getting to move up and down. So once you've opened Multimedia Fusion, you just need to click the uh, new and, we'll, and it'll open up a new frame for us and then all I need to do is double click that thumbnail there and we get we open up with our first frame so first thing I need to do well, what I like to do in this particular case is to go to the frame and change the background to a lighter blue color so that's the first thing I've done now once, once I've changed back in color I need to insert our flappy bird or or our active object in the first in the first instance and so we insert an object and you need to go to all objects you may have been in games or different part of it so click all objects and click active object and then find somewhere to place it on the screen initially we're going to stay with with the diamond which is the default shape we will later on uh, experiment and, and we, you you will change to your own graphics but for now We'll, we'll keep all the default options. So once I've got my active object, I need to go over to the movement screen. I need to change it from static to bouncing ball. Um, but we only, in Flappy Bird, he only moves up. He, he moves up and he drops down. So you press the space bar and he moves up. And other, and other than that, he's dropping down. So we don't want to move in all directions. We want to cancel all of these. And he can only move up. So, so we've done our movement up. So you should have in your box there. You should have bouncing ball, and you should have it um, initial direction of eight. Once you've done that, we've we've done our initial work. We now need to go to the editor, so we can go to press Control and E, and we're into our editor. The first thing we need to do is is to pin our bird onto a specific coordinate so we need to put a new condition in and this will be, this will be always because we're always going to start the bird in the same place so it's an always and we'll go over to our active object and what we're going to do is position and it's going to be set an x coordinate and we'll type in 145 so we click OK. So there's our condition done. If I go to Control and M and explain that, um, X coordinates go along the go along the top, Y coordinates go down. We we want our bird to be always at a, at this particular point along the X coordinate, but we want him to be able to move up and down. So he's always going to be at the bird is always going to be fixed at at at, at this coordinate along the top. So, so, but he can move up and down this line. So he can move freely up and down, but he, he can't go forward. He can't go across an X. He can't. He can only go up and down. So that's what that's what we've done there. So back to Control E. Um, now, now that we put the uh, coordinate in, we'll need a new event, and we'll need we'll need to set the birds that so that he's always falling. So a, a new condition, and this time it'll be the stopwatch. Because it's going to be a timer, and we've we messed around with the timer when we've been shooting things. So, but this time we need we need to do, to do um, a timer for every. Get rid of one, put it down to zero. But we're going to be working in hundreds of seconds. So press the so press five. So you should have zero, 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 and five hundreds there. So click OK, and there's our condition. Something new something that we haven't done in previous lessons. Is we're now going to add, add another condition to this condition so all we do is right click and do insert so on our on our condition right click and do insert and this time we want to, to do a new um, a new condition to the event so we click our object right click our object and we're going to pick direction and we're going to compare direction of active. And this time 
in Flappy Bird, we want him to be only moving in one direction. So we, we turn all of these on. And then this is this is all he does. If you remember Flappy Bird, he doesn't move backwards, he's only ever going forward. So we click OK. And so we've got every 500 of a second is facing a direction and it's only facing this way. That's, that's the only way our, our direction our game goes in. Um, now, a little bit of complicated bit. We just need to go back to our um, object, right click, and we're going to do um, set direction and we're going to do select direction. But this time we're going to click a new option. We we'll leave all this alone. We're gonna we're gonna do uh, one one plus one, so we're gonna calculate the direction. So we click that, and this time we'll retrieve data from an object. So we go to our ActiveX object, right click, we go to Animation, and we'll go to current um, current direction, and it automatically puts in some coding for us. So all we have to do is press the space, space band and enter minus one. We click OK to that and so we should have now every 500 of a second the active X is falling in this direction and it'll be that direction minus one. So we've now got our bird to be constantly falling so our next thing is, is a straightforward one that we're all very used to and that's putting in an, um, a keyboard condition. So I'll click keyboard. When I click the keyboard upon pressing the key, and I'm just press the space bar, and I want to go back again to my object, and this time I'm going to do um, direction and select direction, and he's only allowed to move up. That's it. In Flappy Bird, he only moves up. So I click OK. So you should have you should have rules that look like that so now when i press f8 to to run the game or f7 just to run a particular frame i'm going to press f8 and now when i press the space bar my flappy bird is moving up and down you can drop off the screen we'll fix that later on but there's our first part of our flappy bird game in the next part we'll move on to putting some obstacles for him to pass over for now